In this video, we're going to finish up finding slope from an equation worksheet on CUDA software website, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Our directions are to find the slope of each line, and we know that our slope is that m, so the coefficient of x when we have it in the form of y equals mx plus b. So let's continue where we left off with number 16. In number 16, we have x plus 5 plus y equals 0. We need to isolate the y, so let's go ahead and subtract y from both sides to get that by itself. We'll have x plus 5 on the left, and that's going to be equal to a negative y on the right. We want this y to not be negative, but instead be positive. So we're going to multiply both sides by a negative 1 in order to get y by itself and positive. So when we multiply by a negative 1, we need to distribute that on the left-hand side. That'll leave us with negative 1x plus negative 5 equal to a positive y. If you want to rewrite this, you can write the y on the left-hand side, just flip the equation around. So you can say that y equals negative 1x plus negative 5. And from this, you can see our m is negative 1. So our slope is negative 1 in number 16. In number 17, all we have to do is divide by negative 4. And doing that, we'll get 3x over negative 4, which is negative 3 fourths x, plus 20 over negative 4, which is negative 5, and that's equal to a positive y. So y equals mx plus b. So you can see our slope is negative 3 fourths for number 17. In number 18, we're just going to divide by negative 5 on both sides. In doing this, we get negative 15 over negative 5, which is a positive 3, minus x over negative 5, which is the same as 1 over negative 5 times x. But since we're subtracting that, we're really adding that 1 fifth x. And that's equal to a positive y. So our slope for number 18 is 1 fifth. y equals mx plus b. In number 19, I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Doing this, we'll leave with 2x minus 1 on the left, and that's equal to a positive y on the right. So we have y equals mx plus b, so our m, or our slope, is a positive 2. And number 20, this is already in the form of y equals mx plus b. But if you want to rewrite it, you can say y equals negative 1x, or negative x, plus a negative 1, or minus 1. So remember, a negative x is the same as negative 1 times x, so our slope is that negative 1. In number 21, I'm just going to add x to both sides at the start. Doing this will leave me with x on the left, and that's equal to 5y on the right. Then I'll just divide both sides by 5. So we'll have 1 fifth x is equal to y. So we have our y, and that's equal to mx plus our b, which would be 0. So our slope is one fifth. And lastly, number 22. Negative 30 plus 10y equals negative 2x. We're going to add 30 to both sides. So we'll have 10y equals negative 2x plus 30. Then divide by 10 on both sides. So we get that y equals negative 2 tenths x plus 30 over 10. 
or you could say plus 3, since 30 divided by 10 is 3. So our m is equal to that negative 2 tenths. However, negative 2 tenths can be simplified to negative 1 fifth. So our slope for number 22 is negative 1 fifth. And that wraps up the worksheet, Finding Slope from an Equation. I'll have a link in the description below of how to access this worksheet. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions. Like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.